feeling a bit depressed tonight because I lost my phone last night and I'm kind of getting to the point now where I'm thinking I'm probably not going to get it back, you know. I mean, there's still a slight bit of hope, but I might hear from this taxi rank. I'm going to ring them again tomorrow and see if the, the driver's found it, but I've not got much hope, so I'm kind of coming to the conclusion that somebody's got hold of it and they've decided to keep it, and that's a bit depressing, really, because it's, it's a piece of shit phone, you know. I mean, it's half decent if it were in good condition, but, like, the screen is broke. I've dropped it about 25,000 times. You know, it's got a crack on the screen, loads of cracks on the screen. You know, you'd think someone would hand it in. They're not going to get much money for it. You know, they'd have to pay for the screen fixing, which costs nearly as much as a bloody phone anyway. So it's it's not, not worth anything, hardly anyone. But hey-ho, it is what it is, isn't it? Somebody's probably kept it. And there's very little time. There's very little places where it could be. Really is hardly anything, right? Because... I went, I went at this pub called Black Bull and I went from there to this pub called The Station just when the Black Bull was shutting, right? I'd already been at the station before, but then I went at Black Bull for a couple of pints. Then that was closing, last orders, and then uh, I texted my mate saying, oh, they're still serving at the station. And I said, yeah. And then I, I said, even, even while I was walking to the station, I said, right, I'm on my way. So I know for a fact that I had that phone when I went into the station pub. And all I did from there is be in the station pub and then go, when I left the station pub, to the taxi rank and then get a taxi to Budgeons and home. That is it. So it's not like I've been a million places where I could have lost my phone. You know, I, I had my phone when I was walking there. And I, I do think I remember having it in there, you know, we're talking and stuff. But I think in general, I, I kept looking at my phone every now and then. But you know, I was a little bit drunk, so it is what it is, isn't it? But... There's not a great deal of places where it could be, and it, the place wasn't absolutely packed either. So it ain't like you can think, oh, there's millions of people there. You know, someone could have swiped it. The one, the one, there were a few people. You know what I mean? So there's not loads of options really. I mean, and I did leave there fairly in a, in a quickly, you know, ish, quickish, because it like it, the last order, finished last drink. Me and this guy were having a bit of an argument. I think landlord said, oh, I'll go outside or something. You two took it outside, and then we did. And maybe because we left and went outside, I might have had my phone on on the on the bar. That's what I'm thinking, possibly, but I don't know. I walked up to the taxi rank, so I didn't ring a taxi because the taxi rank is literally right next to this pub. So I just walked up there, got a taxi. I remember talking to the guy. I, I don't remember being on my phone in there. Uh, went to Budgeons. And then that's it, I came on. I know it's pretty quick when I was on that I didn't have it, but I was pretty drunk, you know. I was pretty wound up, but I was drunk, you know. And, uh, yeah. So there's very little options of where it could be and where it could have been lost. And uh, I got my mate to ring the taxi rank, and uh, she rang him, and uh, they just said, Oh, nobody on the phone, you know, no one's on the phone, you we'll check your number and we'll ring you back, yeah. If someone hands the phone in, and... Uh, they haven't rang her back. And uh, then she went in again today because she was going down the area and she went, went into the actual taxi rank and uh, they just said the same thing, you know. But they, they didn't, they, they were a bit slack. They didn't know the drive. You know, she was telling them, you know, you got, you got a lift to blah, 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 this place to that place. And they didn't they didn't know, they didn't have it on record, which I'm thinking, well, that's a bit shit. Anyway, I got got another taxi from the same place today. I didn't even bother asking them because what's the point? It's all the asked twice anyway. But I was talking to the driver and saying, you know, this is what happened. And, and he says, oh, it's Sunday staff. They probably don't even know how to look up out to see who who were driving and blah, blah, blah. So he says, just ring on Monday. So there's still a slight bit of hope. He says, ring on Monday. All bosses are there and they know what they're doing. So they'll be able to look up who the driver was and uh, potentially get my phone back. I hope so, because it's really depressing, isn't it? Losing your phone now, it's like losing an arm. It's literally like losing a frigging arm, you know, there's so much stuff on your phone, and all my pictures of my kids. And for me, so much cringe shit as well, you know, because being like, a, well, some singer-songwriter, you know, to an extent, not that anyone ever gives a shit about my music anyway, but I do it. And uh, it's got loads of ideas, you know, when I'm just jamming and I'm just making stuff up as I go along and then I play it back and then I try, I try and write words for it, you know, and it's just fucking embarrassing that someone's probably got older that and they, if they know how to break into it they're going to have all that and 
you don't even want to know what the friggin' hell. I'll, I'll, there's so much embarrassing stuff on there, obviously. Personal cringeworthy stuff, you know, which I don't need to go into details on a video, but you, you can use your imagination. And it's like, it's like, oh, shit. It's like an invasion of your privacy, in it? That somebody's potentially got that. And there's very few people that could have it. Let's say I were at that pub. There weren't hardly anyone there. You know, there were like a few people. And then I went to the taxi rank. So somewhere along the lines it's got lost and there you go no obviously it would even in the pub and someone's picked it up or it's in the taxi and hopefully that's the case and i'm going to be able to ring tomorrow and the, the, the taxi driver's going to search and find it but i'm not holding my breath am i you know i guess god's not on my side at the moment you know not on my side Seems like everything's gone wrong at once, you know. That's happened, and just before that, I've pulled my frigging bicep, right? Arm wrestling and stuff. I mean, about two day, two days ago, but I started lifting weights again, you know, and I've been getting better because I've I've been injured for ages. I got the something called shoulder impingement, and I got that, and uh, I've, I I couldn't work out for years really, you know. But I, I slowly picked myself up, and I worked a way around working around injuries and i started lifting this dumbbell and just you know just doing it and not overdoing it just doing it like every three days or so not doing it every day and then i was getting better and you know we're just all falling back into place i'm getting my health back and then arm wrestling this is how i got this injury in the first place right well, one new year having loads of arm wrestles because you, you strain yourself so much arm wrestling because it met because you've been competitive you push yourself beyond what you're probably capable of just because you're determined to win you know and it's like that's how i got this first shoulder impingement in 2013 and uh i had this lad in arm wrestle the other day and it was all right you know and it was competitive as well but he's, he's a fairly well built up guy so it's all right you know it was close with no one really won we just called it a draw and then i would have put mates over there and then i had like there were these other two lads and I would arm wrestle with all of them and I beat them ones, but it's not to be proud of. I beat them, but I've bloody killed myself in the process, so, so whoopee. I beat them, but I'd rather let them bloody beat me because look what, look what the price is, you know what I mean? One of them were really hard, that's the thing. This lad, this fat lad, and that's why I often can't, I'm not getting, I'm not getting beat by this freaking fat, fat kid, you know what I mean? Well, he ain't a kid, he's older than me, but fuck, I can't get beat by him, you know? It just wouldn't enter my mind that I'm going to get beat by this guy, so we're like, Proper determined, it was really difficult, you know, probably as hard as the other guy, really, but it was just my mentality. I thought, I can't lose this guy, you know, I've known him a long, a long a lot of years and just thought, I can't do it. So, I really strained and I had to like dig really deep and like, <laughs> and I beat him, but I beat myself, haven't I, in the process? Because the next day I woke up, friggin' arm's dead, and yeah, God's not on my side, mate. I must have been a bad boy sometime, you know what I mean, recently. Maybe I have. And God's thinking, you know what? There you go. Boom. Taking your fucking biceps away from you. Boom. Taking your phone away from you. You know, I'm not overly religious, but I do believe this is something like that. I do think sometimes karma and what you give is what you get. And, you know, you got to put good out in there to get good back. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, wish me luck, man. Keep me in your prayers. Hopefully, I'm going to get my phone tomorrow. And yeah, I'll probably look a bit rough today because I am. But hey, it is what it is. So yeah, I guess I just add a little more to myself and that. I've seen other people do this kind of thing <laughs> on the Facebooks and that. And thought it's a bit funny, isn't it? So I thought I'd do it myself and that. And I just sang a song, you know. It's no, right, 43, I've, I've kind of just came out with one of the most juvenile songs I've ever done at my ripe old age. And a dad, obviously, I will not be singing these songs in front of my kids. And, you know, it's not a song that I'm going to, hey, hey, mum, listen to this song, you know what I mean? But still, I don't mind having a bit of a laugh and just making stuff up, you know what I mean? And this this was a song that I just made up on the spot recently called Drunk Punk. And it's a little bit juvenile, really, you know, for a 40-odd-year-old guy. But it's it's all right. And it's, a, it's kind of just a drunk song. I made it up when I was really drunk. And I don't even hardly remember it. And that's the truth of this song. This is a song that I literally recorded when I was drunk. I just made it up on the spot. And I didn't even remember doing it. So I wrote it in my own mind. I didn't write it down. I just made it up on my head. And I sang it. And then I woke up and 
played it back and I was thinking, shit, I don't remember doing that. But hey, it's a song, isn't it? But yeah, I guess I thought I'd try and uh, do a live version of it tonight, you know what I mean? Which, why not, you know? I'm just a drunk punk. I'm drunk a lot of the time. I'm just a drunk punk. Do you want to be a friend of mine? I can tell that you're lonely Well, so am I most of the time So if you wanna just phone me And maybe you could be a friend of mine I think you'd look pretty good but naked in my bed But what we do next I ain't too sure Ain't thought that far ahead I'm just a drunk punk I'm drunk a lot of the time Yeah, I'm just a drunk punk Do you wanna be a friend of mine? I think you'd look pretty good bent over in front of me what we do next, I ain't too sure Ain't far that far ahead, you see I'm just a drunk punk Drunk a lot of the time But you can make this punk smunk So do you wanna be a friend of mine? Pretty sure that I could make you if you don't believe me, then just ask your friend Siobhan. Yeah, she met Siobhan. She probably gave me a good review. I think, can't really remember. I'm a bit drunk. I'm just a drunk punk. I'm drunk a lot of the time. Yeah, I'm just a drunk punk. Do you wanna be a friend of mine? Yeah, do you wanna be a friend of mine? Yeah, do you wanna be a friend of mine? Any good? Yeah.